Hello, today I'll be showing you how to use the newest version of my Map Texture Replacer mod, version 2.0 in City Skylines 2. This mod makes it very easy to change and customize the look of your game with just a couple of clicks. So, first to install the mod, go to the Thunderstore or R2 Modman Mod Manager and search for a map texture, and it should show up like this. If you don't have one of these mod managers installed, check out my short linked in the card above. So then click on the listing and click download and then download with dependencies. So next you want to install a map texture pack. An easy way to find all the texture packs that are available is to click on this mod pack listed here and then click website. And in this mod pack, it shows all of the current packs that are available and that work with map texture replacer. At this time, there currently are two packs available, the desert map theme and the home of chameleon theme. I can download all the packs by clicking install of mod manager here, or let's say I just want one pack, I can click on the listing and then click on install of mod manager. For this video, I'm going to install all of the themes. So now with everything installed, we can launch the game. And then load a save. So in game to access the mod, click on the hook UI backpack and then on map texture replacer. So in this window to switch to a pack, click on this base pack drop down here. And then I can select the desert map theme like this. And as you can see, the entire look of the map changes. I can also select the other map theme I've installed, the home of chameleon theme and see how the look changes as well. Next, these drop downs let you customize the individual textures that are replaced. So let's say I'd rather have the cliff texture of the desert map theme. I can just click on this drop down here and then select that. And you can see how it changes. I can also click load image and here I can select any PNG or JPEG image I have from my file system like this. And it applies it just like that. Next on here are the sliders, far, close, and close dirt tiling. Pretty much these let you change the global tiling of these textures. Unfortunately, however, the game only really exposes these three specific tiling values. So for example, the far tiling value applies for all of the textures. So only changing the far grass tiling or only changing the far dirt tiling is not really possible. Likewise, this applies to the close tiling values as well except for the close dirt tiling, which interestingly is able to be set. Also, a thing to note is that the, the close tiling values really are only for when the camera is really close to the ground like this. So keep that in mind. Next to these sliders, this text box here also allows you to enter any numerical value you want, including values that are outside the range of the sliders. The mod in general also saves everything you've changed in this panel. So all your settings will be reapplied after a game restart. This mod also has support for the map editor and adds a new shortcut toggle for the mod in it. If you don't have the editor as an option in your game, be sure to install the Moob mod. As currently, as of the date of this video, the map editor isn't fully released yet. So inside the editor, just click on this new icon on the bottom toolbar here, and the same window will appear with the same texture settings loaded. And you can change the textures just like in game. Note that the settings on the mod are saved globally and not per map. So if you're playing with multiple maps, you need to keep this in mind. So lastly, if you're an asset creator, you can easily create texture packs that work with the mod. So I'll go to my desert map theme pack on Thunderstore and manually download it and unzip it to explain how a map texture pack works. So basically each pack contains a series of PNG files for each of the textures the mod replaces. So, so like grass normal, grass base, dirt normal, etc. Next, the map texture config.json, if I open it, allows you to set the display name of the pack. So let's say if I rename this to tutorial theme, the pack label in the mod dropdowns would change to display this. The file also allows you to change the far and close tiling values the mod reads from the pack. The other files here are if you want to publish to the Thunderstore, so icon.png is the icon for the Thunderstore listing, readme.md is the description, and manifest.json, if I open it pretty much is the 
the package information for Thunderstore. So if you were publishing a Thunderstore, you would also change this to let's say tutorial theme. So to test the pack, you can move the folder to your BepNX plugins folder in R2 Modman or the Thunderstore Mod Manager. You can get to it by going to settings, browse profile folder. Then in the Explorer window that opens, you can click on BepNX plugins and then move the folder here where your other mods are. Then I'll launch the game again. And as you can see, it's an option in the base pack dropdown. So also while in game, if you replace the textures in this folder, so let's say I make a quick edit to this grass texture like this, I can reload them. When the game is loaded by just reloading the pack in the mod window, just like this. So if you wanna publish this pack to the Thunderstore, you can select all these files here, then right click to compress to zip, and this can be directly uploaded to the Thunderstore. Or if you don't want to or can't, the mod also has an load from zip option from the base pack dropdown. So that's basically how to use my map texture replacer mod. If you enjoy my mod and or this overview video, consider liking, sharing this video, or supporting me with a super thanks. Thank you for watching.